everybody. Welcome back to the Creaster Cabin. I'm Mike from Creaster. Y'all know Jerry. How's it going, Jerry? I'm doing great, and I'm excited to be here in the cabin this morning with you to help introduce Jordan, a field researcher from the Sierra Nevadas in California. He's bringing us some footage that I think you're all going to be excited to see. Oh man, you know what? Jordan was really cool. He contacted me. He's like, he's like, Mike, I live in California, and I really want to know the best baits. You've told me the best bait, but I want to do my own research. We sent Jordan a couple traps, and he went out and uh, he tried all these baits. People ask me, hot dogs, chicken, fish, cat food. People tell me, hey, you should use cat food. And uh, Jordan did his own research. It was really cool, and he's gonna take us on a little, just a journey, showing you guys what baits to use. That's what's got me really excited to see this. Now, uh, Craster Alert, the first minute is going to be a little dark, it's in the evening, but then you'll be enlightened and towards the end there's going to be some food that Jordan makes and I'm really excited to have that. Yeah, he, he kind of chefs up some crawfish oh. in a fancy mm. way, it's really neat. Now, you're not going to believe how beautiful this lake is that Jordan's fishing at? Come on you guys, let's jet set, clear down to California. Let's do this, Jerry. Let's go. All right, hello Chrysler fans. This is the premise of my field researcher video log will be to examine what truly is the best crayfish bait. We will begin this video log by testing some of the more unorthodox crayfish baits. In my left hand I hold bacon. In my right hand I hold Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Two attested to crayfish baits. However, one has to come out on top. We're going to count the number of crayfish caught in each trap, and tomorrow we're going to try dog food and chicken to see which is truly the best unorthodox crayfish bait. And after that, we're going to put the best unorthodox bait versus trap. What Mike and the guys at Crayster say is the best bait for crayfish. Alright Crayster fans, this is the second segment of my Crayster video log. I'm really excited today because today we're going to be examining the results from the bacon versus hot dogs head to head trap off. This is really exciting. You know, I really don't know what the results are. I haven't looked at the traps. So let's bring up the traps and finally put the argument to rest. Right. A lot of weeds, but it looks like we have a healthy amount of crayfish in the bacon trap. Let's count it out and see how many we have. It looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 crayfish in the bacon trap. This looks hard to beat, but let's see what hot dogs have produced. Hot Dogs has a very nice showing as well. It looks like it's gonna be a close one, folks. I'm really not sure which one has come out on top. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight crayfish in the hot dogs to 11 crayfish in the bacon trap. Well, that settles it, folks. If you didn't know before, now you know. Bacon is superior to hot dogs when it comes to trapping crayfish. Thank you, and I'll check with you tomorrow with chicken versus dog food. I want to introduce you to some of the fine specimens we have trapped today. Some on the larger size. I've got some trying to escape here. All right, here we have just a beautiful red crawfish that we've trapped out here. Fell victim to the hot dogs. Wow. And look at this, this is one I trapped previously. Look at the claws on that specimen. Absolutely incredible, just a freak of nature. <laughs> Let's further examine this batch. Another healthy sized crawfish. Wow, 
these crawfish are just well fed in this lake. We have a couple uh, smaller size as well. They'll still be good eating. This one on a medium size scale, pretty decent as well. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. Let's see if I can get my hands around him. That is a freshwater lobster, if I do say so myself. I'm not sure what the requirements are for the big claw competition, but let's see here. Look at that. Maybe I'll have to measure that. Could be a winner. Just a couple more really nice sized crayfish. The bacon really just seemed to produce very well. Um, it's gonna be interesting to, see, interesting to see tomorrow whether or not chicken or dog food can uh, produce the same results as bacon. And then eventually, which unorthodox bait will go up against the oily fish, the trout, which I will catch. Um, and it would be really interesting to see if the unorthodox bait beats the trout, because that would be very unexpected. Okay, my presentation for the dog food, just gonna be an open lid, throw it in the trap. Simple, easy, and let's see if it catches crayfish. I'll check back with you with the chicken in just a moment. Here I have the chicken. I'm just using some scraps from a chicken breast that's been thawed. You always want to use thawed meat when attracting crayfish. Very crucial. Simple presentation. Um, yeah, that's just about it. Throw it in there. Close up the trap. And uh, throw it out there. Alright Cracer fans, I believe this is day three of my Cracer Field Researcher video log. Um, incredibly excited, as always, because today we are going to be analyzing the results from the chicken versus dog food head-to-head -head trap off. Let's lift up these traps and see the treasures inside. Chicken with only two crayfish. That is an easy omission for best unorthodox crayfish bit. Let's check on the dog food. Stuck in the reeds a little bit. The dog food can has escaped from the trap with no crayfish inside. What this means, I do not know. Disappointing results to say the least. Um, in order to adjust for this minor hiccup, tonight we're gonna be pitting dog food in a rematch versus 
trout scraps and we're going to be doing the total so we're going to be counting the total number of crayfish caught with bacon total number of crayfish caught with chicken total number of crawfish caught with hot dogs and total number of crawfish caught with trout scraps in order to compare what is the best crayfish bait. Um, as I said, disappointing that this has occurred, but we're gonna have to move on and adjust accordingly. All right, right here we have the holy grail of crayfish bait, rainbow trout, freshly caught out of the lake. We're gonna fillet it up and use the scraps for bait tonight. Okay, it's our last day of our field researcher video. Today we are going to be examining the results of trout versus dog food. Really exciting time because we can finally see if trout really is the best bait or if that is just an urban legend. I think trout scraps really are the overwhelming winner here. I haven't counted, but um, just from a glance, it looks like a m much more crayfish than caught with any of the other baits. Let's pull the dog in. Only about four crayfish in the dog food to about eighteen in the trout scraps. There's the winner. Well, that sounds good, folks. Trout scraps really is the best trout crayfish bait. I'm gonna go over the results at home and make sure that I'm at one hundred percent correct, but Proof is in the pudding. Here's the batch. A lively batch they are. Um, this isn't going to be the final product, boiled curry fish. Uh, I'm going to batter them up. It's a simple boil, I just threw in some zatarains. Okay, right now we are frying our crayfish tails. I have them soaking in a milk brine. I'm going to transfer them into this uh, flour mixture. I have to give credit where credit is due. This recipe was inspired by Smoky Ribs Barbecue. No plagiarism here on the crayfish channel. Um, yeah, go check out that channel. Great recipes. All right, now that they're all thoroughly coated in the flour mixture, I'm just gonna drop them in here. That's it. I'll come back to you for the finished product. Since the crayfish is already cooked, boiled, you don't need to worry about undercooking it. You just want that crispy texture on the outside. And just a little bit of lemon drizzle to top it off. A unique take.
on an old classic. All right, the crayfish tails have been topped with a little bit of pepper, lemon, and salt, and we're just gonna go in for a taste. I like it. I'd say the recipe is a winner. Um, the texture is a nice change from the boiled crayfish, and I would recommend that to, for you to try this recipe out with your own crayfish. All right, right here we have a uh, just a live well of a, I believe an eagle claw or Danielson trap that I've just converted into a live bait well because it just does not catch crayfish like these crayster traps do. All right, right now we're just transferring the crayfish from the trap into the live well. Nothing special, the live well is just bolted together and got sticks in the ends to prevent the crayfish from escaping. Whoa. A pretty decent sized one. Well, thanks Jordan for that footage. You know what, um, those crawfish tails, deep fried crawfish tails look really good. We want to tell you, we really appreciate you being a field researcher for Craster out of California. We've got a brand new cutting edge Craster shirt for you. It's even got field researcher on the sleeve. That's awesome. Yeah. And Jordan, I really thought that, uh, you know, comparing the cages side by side with the different baits was really an awesome idea. I loved the video. And, uh, you know, we get asked all the time, Mike, about, Oh, oh, try this bait, try that bait, like the hot dogs. I, what happens? I have thousands of people, they either tell me, hey, use cat food, or do this, or do that. Just like Jordan, we, we initially, we tried everything. Mm -hmm. Jordan, you know, like he said, the proof is in the pudding. The fish is where it's at. If you want to catch just a few for a snack, use hot dogs, use cat food. If you want to catch a meal, use good bait. Use trout scraps. Mm -hmm. We've been finding yeah. tilapia is cheap, and it yeah. worked really yeah. good. Salmon, man, it's awesome. That is great. You know, Jordan, I saw when you were doing your video that you had uh, a bait cage there to hold your crawfish when you were done catching them. And you know, we've done, uh, we've, Still in the we traps. recycle them, right? <laughs> Look what we, we do with ours. We use ours, we use ours for a garbage can. It's a great uh, waste basket. Yeah, we, we already have our own uh, creature catchers and things to hold our crawfish <laughs> in. Now, hey, I wanna tell you guys something. We really appreciate you watching our video. If you like our video, like our video. If you really like it, subscribe. You can even be a field researcher just like Jordan. Thank you so much. Don't forget that we are now on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Hey, you guys have a great day. We'll catch you later.